This episode of the Devin Way Show is brought to you by the Barber's Lounge and New Souls Inc.'s No Child Left Off Line. Let's keep our kids safe while they learn during this pandemic. If you would like to help, please cash app dollar sign N E W S O L E S N C L O. DJ Chelsea Lee. My little baby, she too crazy. Fuck that. Work the magic. Work. DJ Dad. She amazing. She amazing. Niggas hate it. They hate it. They don't face me. They don't Fuck them. Pop the tape. Little baby. Get back and keep escaping. Let go. My little baby, my little baby. She too crazy. She too crazy. Work the magic. Put a body. She amazing. She You look like Holly Berry with your fine ass What you sippin', that Moscato in your wine glass Oh, you sedated it from the city, got a lot of class That booty bouncing in them jeans, you got a lot of ass Prada bag, Gucci swag That nigga capping, I'm really having cash Pull up in that, with the top missing When the sun hit my diamonds, bet you start to listen I had to cut that little bitch off, she couldn't play position Fully loaded with the fire, ducking opposition My little baby, my little baby, she too crazy Work the magic with her body, she amazing Niggas hate it, yeah, they hate They don't face me, they don't face me She pop the tag and get her back and keep it skating Uh, uh, my little baby, my uh, uh Oh, I got the ad libs on that. Yo, I could see the nasty girls really bouncing uh, heavily to that joint right there. I could definitely. Which ones, man? I mean, all of them, man. All of them. <laughs> they got a lot of ass cheeks back there. Yeah, man. yeah. All and he them. said that. He said that in the song. He said a lot of ass. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The way he said that shit. You know what I'm saying? I could definitely see them bouncing to that. Uh, uh, if you haven't noticed, um, you are now tuned in to the Devin Wade Show. I am your host, Devin Wade, a.k.a. Dev Nasty, a.k.a. Choke Your Mom Out, a.k.a. Choke Your Pop Out. And um, today we have the full squad in the building. Um, uh, somebody tried to leave us again. Uh, she's so uh, booked and busy. You know what I'm saying? Every, like a vacation. Everybody's booking her, but we're going to get to her. Well, so I'm going to introduce her last because she's uh, booked and busy. But one of the detectives... Our fashionista is in the building. Um, hey, 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 She has on an expensive shirt that looks like it's been shot at... It's actually, it's, it's Eero. You know, I got my little Cartier bracelets on. Uh, got my little McQueens on my feet. The uh, Hublot on my wrist. Damn. Y'all already know. Oh, Lightning McQueen. She got the Lightning McQueens on her feet. You Not know the Lightning, Isn't that a car racing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and don't, and listen, just, yeah, listen, just, I, I just got to put this out there. Y'all know Wally is like, she she armed to carry. She be, she's thug with her, too. She keep that shit with her. Yeah. And I'm fully loaded. Yeah, whoa. Ray, get at you. So that don't, sound don't a come crazy. <laughs> don't don't come come crazy. Song. But that is Waleska D, the head detective in the building. Hey, hey, hey. Um, to the right of her, we have. Um, that's it. I'm Same. Sorry, no. That's it. No, that's, that's not it because this nigga. <laughs> that was today, fired. No, no, no. First off, that we're was gonna, fired. We're he not was gonna, on cue. Listen, he yeah, was on that cue. That was fired. But this nigga, we not letting this slide. Garnett last week he had on a he had a Jerry Curl wig. This week he's a different guy. Mm-hmm. Gold frame glasses. A nigga so can't expen- even expensive have- tees. <laughs> wow. Brand new shorts. New sneaks. This the cut is immaculate. The waves is the waves. Is, I mean, you got listen. Those that look like Wally Water Kingdom with your hand. Yeah, I'm saying they flowing. Yeah, that's. I think you look like Wally Water Kingdom when you were swinging your hair and all that wetness was just all over you. That's what that looked like. Listen, you bringing that much to the table, huh? You wet niggas whole bodies up. I was soaking wet that whole thing. All, right. All on the chest. Right. Yo. I'm gonna have to check your seat when you get up. See what's going on down there. Nah, you remember when Charlemagne smelled J Lo's seat after an I interview? Smell her seat. <laughs> That's a fact. It's my cushions mission. That's it. <laughs> Garnet, let's hook Wally's cushion on. That's crazy. No, but you know what? When we do pop this OnlyFans on, we can start selling the seats that are uh or a lady sitting and shit like that. That's a fact. Listen, listen, listen. Yo, if you listen, we Chelsea are, be farting listen, a lot too, guys. Listen, let me tell you don't something. Don't you? Don't you? We lying. are shame. <laughs> listen, we are shameless Crazy. at the Devin Wade Show. We will sell Only you. In my sleep. We will sell you an authentic <laughs> pair of Wally draws. Uh, don't think we won't. You will definitely get some uh, Chelsea Lee uh, chaps. 
You right. know what I'm saying? They're going to go crazy in yeah. the chats now. That's Garnett Briscoe, stand up uh, and sit down <clears throat> comedian. And to the right of him, we have um, look at, looking like the Unabomber today. <laughs> this nigga's black hoodied up, shades, beard. Um, we have Porno Rich, a.k.a. Porter Rich, a.k.a. Panoram Reporter, a.k.a. Pyrex Porter. What's good, Porter Rich? And 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 I just re- I just realized this week that I'm Napoleon Porter. What the yeah. fuck? Like with Chelsea? With Chelsea? I, I don't know about that. Yeah, Ch- Chelsea slipped that in. I never noticed it. We, I just, don't know how that it's, came it's, up. It's this episode that just passed that Chelsea. We was going through my aliases and Chelsea. The, I, I had I was ready to text her like, when the fuck did you slip that in? <laughs> oh no, nah, maybe she, she was meant like, Neapolitan because she mixes those up. That's what no, I no, meant. No, 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 that's See, what she meant. Cream. That's exactly what she. Yeah, meant. so she said that you like different flavors. Oh, okay. you know what I'm saying? Right, so right, she right, just right, fuck right. it up the same way like some people say spaghetti when they trying to say spaghetti <laughs> right. and shit like that. And I think I just chipped it up just now when I said Napoleon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, so was I didn't call you that. Oh, no, I was Neapolitan I meant to say Neapolitan <laughs> Porter. So you don't want to fuck it up. I fucked it just up. Just like Chim when he said he chimmed in. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, oh, and, and it's called chime. Yeah. Right? And right. then I confused chime with the food that you put on potatoes, baked potatoes. Chive. 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 <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm just, that's that's like that uh, that weed shit. Yeah, that, he wants some other shit. He's the and, one. and to the right of of, of, of Porter Rich, uh, his weed a partner. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, that's Chong. That's Chong. why they Chong. shit together oh, so, uh, early, all the time. Uh, early, early moans. Early, so we heard some early moans from Moni Love. Give us another one. Yo, can you give can you give Wally moan lessons? <laughs> hey, yeah, I try to hold it down, Chelsea. We can the best that I can. We'll do some moan yeah. exercise. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, think, <laughs> I think I think I think Wally moans went sour because they already had her her talking about how she'll fake an orgasm and shit like that. So then when, so right, we when she did her, when she did her well, moan, they're like, oh, yeah. Now, yeah. I can't even moan no more. They're gonna be like, oh, she was faking that time. Like I know that shit. Mm-hmm. You Don't gotta do it. like the mattress mattress giant video on the commercial. I remember that shit. Oh How does my God, mattress giant! Mm-hmm. And if you thought, ah. and if you thought, oh. what? That's the and joint at the end. Ooh. And, yeah. and listen. Ah. And, oh, remember, like wow. and remember how you said like dudes was whatever some dudes they be trying to just keep going right, keep right, right. if you think they was trying to kill you before now they're really like oh you like the fake huh <laughs> <laughs> you're not going yeah, fake yeah, they just yeah, they don't believe her no more you yeah, know what I'm saying what she said she said like oh a nigga might get offended they now when they hear you. that you gotta thrash. retire that thrash is the word for that word yeah don't you gotta re- you gotta retire that quote that you said last time cause now niggas will never believe it you know what I'm saying but uh we have M- Mona Lisa aka Chelsea Lee DJ Chelsea Lee in the building hi beautiful people and um the che- most beautiful DJ you heard that, that out you heard flirting, you heard man. oh yeah Y'all well you know flirting. she's the most beautiful DJ because before she was a DJ you know we just talked about on the last episode how Chris Brown snatched her out the crowd but <laughs> fuck Chris Brown right now you know what I'm saying who, who's a legend but fuck Chris Brown right now a lot of fans was mad about that too shout to the fan that oh, was yeah, like they, uh, he was like First fucking Rihanna, now this. Yeah, 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 so yeah. Shout, yeah. No, shout I saw that. He's sick. He was Sh- definitely sick. That nigga hate Chris Brown. Yeah, he definitely <laughs> hates Chris Brown. But um, the first person that we talked about that Chelsea Lee went and got a fake ID to go and see this man. Now, a lot of questions are being raised. A lot of eyebrows are going up. Because this man is in the news this this week heavily. And that man is none other than Mr. Trigger, Trigger. Girl. Trigger, Trey Songs, yep. Mr. Uh, is that Mr. Still Your Girl? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that was yeah. perfect. Oh, yeah. That was, perfect. <laughs> that was, that, that was great. Good. That was real great. That was great. <laughs> uh, Mr. Still Your Girl, it's, it's something, uh, must be spiritual, magical, or something in his style of music because this man is in some controversy right now. And we all know what other musician his music directly relates to. He's always been compared to him. Um, You know, one guy, you know, says, Pied Piper. This dude says, Mr. Still Your Girl. Um, But uh, this man seems to, there's a lot of things popping up that makes this man sound like he's a sick individual. Mm -hmm. Um, If not sick, definitely aggressive from these. uh, uh, Okay. These, I, I mean, not unless you heard something that I didn't. No, hear. no, no. I'm just no, no, no. Sick. 
He peed on somebody. Wait, wait, wait. We're first okay, off, first off, some, on. wait, 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 wait. Hold on, wait, that, hold on. We're that's... not. We're not Sorry. shaming people. Sorry. First off, some people like to piss on people, and no, some people, people like to get, like to get wrong pissed on. With it if you telling somebody or that's to what do you so. like to do, right. but not to just lay down in a tub and then pee on them. I mean, okay. So let's let's back up. Nah, nah, nah. Because I'm gonna shoot him some it's bail. Like common. How Don't you put gonna... your dick in my face if it wasn't there already? Hold on. Don't piss on me if you haven't pissed on me before. Oh, but hold on. This is the hold on. I, I don't know about that because sometimes things is in the in the moment. You and... know you can move from the piss, right? Like yeah. you ain't gotta stay in that. But what tub. about she you thought can, she but who just nothing. pisses on somebody? What if you eat me? I just fart on your face. All right, like, well, that's gross. you know what? You know what? All right, that's gross. you just won again, Chelsea. <laughs> right. No, she just won. She just won. So let's let's back up here. That is true. Let, let, yeah, that's that's disgusting. And it's like, oh, I fart in everybody's face. <laughs> yeah. Like what? Let's, let's you gonna be like, bitch. Let's back up. I'm be like, I so, be, if I be the broad, so that people know what we're fucking talking about, because we just jumped to this on the No Jumper podcast with uh, the host name is Adam Adam Twenty Two. Yeah. So with him, um, a young lady named Selena Powell, um, young lady, young uh, slur, um, slutty buddy, uh, you know, whatever it is that she would like to be called, because this woman is just like she kind of. She is savage. She claims this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just a young, young, a, a young, star, a, cel- a celebrity fucker. Yeah, yeah, like a professional celebrity fucker. Selena Powell went on this show, um, along with uh, one of her. She has a new uh, Robin to her Batman. I guess I don't know what this woman's name is, so we're just going to call her Seven Dicks because Seven Dicks claim to have slurped seven. Uh, basketball basketball, basketball players room. on uh, from one team, same night, one room, and swallowed all of them. Yes, and also she was already having sex with you know maybe a team manager or somebody a that worked that worked, that worked the with the team. So these young ladies, uh, you know, came onto this show and they're kind of just spilling whatever they call tea or information about these different men that they slept with, and this woman starts telling a story about. How Trace songs, uh, see, this is where you got to be careful with how you word things because it's not that he kept her. It's not like he had her held hostage or nothing like that. No, she's basically stated that like he took her purse and was like, "If you leave, I'm gonna throw." Like he had, he was like dangling her purse over the balcony. Her this is this is what she says, right? That you know, in her phone, and he was basically, you know, threatening her that he would drop it if she left, and he was like, "Well." She was like, well, when can I leave? He was like, well, when I get on my flight. And she's like, when is that? And I guess he never told her but, or whatever. And, then, and now I want to keep in mind at the same time that it's very important to watch um, this interview because these are very strange women. And this is strange circumstances right. because they seem to, it wasn't like they were held against their will. Mm-hmm. Um, this woman seemed to enjoy. She said that uh, Trey Songs was a sex machine, that he has endless rounds. Right. And that he was, you know, pounding nonstop. But at a certain point, she said that he told her, uh, she said, while she was trying to wipe the the, the, the nut, nut it's the, her, her exact face, words. Yeah. These are her words. She said the nut off of her face. He told her to get in the, the tub. Shower. Yeah, so the she tub. sat in the tub and he said, play with your vagina. And While she he was did jerking that. Off. Right. And then he said, play with your breast. And she continued to do that. And he continued to jerk off. And then out of nowhere, he just sprayed her down with piss. And, and she that, was like, in my lashes, though. Like and he said, you're going to be all right. And, and she was like, okay. Right. Piss usually come after a nut, though. Like, she got to get out of Dodge. <laughs> after you fucking bust a nut, what you do? You do got to take. You do got to get that. the she, fuck up out of Oh, there. true. You're right. Because she, because you got to think about it in the order of the scenario. Mm-hmm. She said that she was wiping the nut off. Mm-hmm. So then he's like, come in the tub. You get what I'm saying? So he's about to piss. He knew he was about to piss. Right, right, right. And that could have been also why he (laughs) left. Listen, listen, listen. This could have (laughs) also been why he was able to last so long because this is a secret of men. If you got to piss at the same time while you're fucking, you get like a a, a infinite super rocked up joint. Mm -hmm. Like super. Like it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? It has to be right after. That's so, why the morning fuck is so good because you already got the morning wood. Yeah, the morning wood comes from the you piss. You already just lit already. The so. morning. So the piss gets Usually you guys hard. 
I is mean, that what you're it's, saying? It, it's, like, it's us holding in the piss right. because that's the reason why we don't piss in ourselves in our sleep. sleep. Yeah, yeah. So when, when we wake up, we got we, we to go drain the weasel. Yeah. But if it's some fresh buns right there, I'm going to definitely, you know, <laughs> knock down some fresh, fresh buns. Fresh buns. <laughs> yeah, you got to. And then release the urine. <laughs> yeah, afterwards. Right, right after. Yeah, but not but not the way Dre songs did. No, I We said, do ours in the toilet. Like, respectable. And nobody's <laughs> sitting inside of that toilet either. I'm not, I ain't into that. That's just me. That's so, intense. So this woman um, was pissed on, uh, said, in my lashes though? And he was like, nah, you're going to be all right. And she was like, all right, cool. Or whatever. And, this other woman that was on there, the uh, what is her name again? Selena Powell. Selena Powell also had said before that these are the same things that he did and that he, you know, would not let you leave and things like that. Like, you know, some some R. Kelly ish vibes, but it seems like a lot less threatening. Right. I, I just want to make this clear. But if your friend did it and she went through that. You what, go back. Why would you go and because do they want to fuck celebrities? Yeah, they want to. They want to like, fuck them. But don't talk about it and complain about it. If you know right, that, that right. he did it to her, they're not then even really complain. What they're doing is bragging. <laughs> they're just basically trying to brag. That, I mean, I believe that the woman is stupid, but she still knows that her saying all he wanted to do was fuck me all day is like a clout thing for her because she said in it, you know. You could go call another bitch. You got all these bitches on my dick. Like, why you want to fuck? Me? She's happy about the idea that that, you know, that's going down. But some of the behaviors that they said that was, that, you know, disturbing, odd, whatever you want to call it. They called it weird. Yeah, weird. I mean, a lot of people would consider it weird. Chelsea Lee considers it weird. But it's not a violation necessarily. But it, maybe some of it is inappropriate. It started to bring up old interviews and things that people said prior about Trey, you know, about Trey songs. And one of those was a Kiki Palmer uh, situation. Does anybody know about the Kiki Palmer? I just situation? I just read that um that Kiki Palmer. She's a longtime friend of Trey songs. They've been friends since she was like a little kid. They've been friends for a long time. And um he was having, he invited her, I believe, to a party, supposedly a party to her knowledge. She got dressed, took a shower, got ready for a party. She went to his house, I believe. When she arrived at his home, it was a video shoot. It wasn't a party. It was an actual video shoot that was maybe like a video shoot slash party. Yeah, I've had yeah, I've yeah. had joints yeah, like that. Okay, yeah, like, bet. we're going to shoot a video. Then after this, we chilling. We got the bottles and everything. Everybody here, let's vibe. And the poker knows all kinds of shit. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm assuming it was something like that. And, you know... It got, I guess, introduced to her as a party, and she got there, and it was a video shoot. And then Trey Songs, I guess, wanted her to be in a video. She supposedly declined to Trey Songs about wanting to be in the video, didn't want to be in it. A lot of people that was at the party supposedly kept trying to pressure her. They thought it would be dope for her to be in the video. Everybody was trying to pressure her. She said it was to the point where it was becoming annoying. She didn't feel like people was respecting her brand. She didn't pick people feel like she felt like people wasn't respecting her decision to not want to be in this video so she was trying to call an uber the uber was taking too long she ended up hiding in the closet at his house mm -hmm. and then That's the video and yeah she ended up hiding in his closet she said she wanted to hide because it was so much pressure on her that that was the only thing she can think of to do because the uber wouldn't arrive and then well i don't know we'll, we'll get to that but point bank period is she ended up, whatever, I guess, leaving that situation. That was the end of it when she hid in the closet. And the video came out. And when the video came out, there's they said it was like a clip of her, like, I guess, taking selfies of herself in like a bedroom or something. I don't think it was like no nudity or nothing in, the, in these selfies, pics or nothing. And that basically was the accusation that she came out in this video not wanting to, you know, she was told she was coming to a party and it was a video shoot. And it was, it was something in there in the, in the interview where she said, uh, that they were trying to use that. She felt like Trey songs and like people around was trying to use like sex intimidation to get her in the video. But like I read some of the comments on this interview that I read, I felt like some of the people in the comments, like when I read that, what does that mean? Like, what are you saying sexually? How was anybody trying to intimidate you in a sexual way? And the reason I wanted to, like, kind of, like, clarify that is because, 
I, don't get me wrong. I love Kiki Palmer. Kiki Palmer's a dope, you know, young sister from our culture that, you know, has done things and does great things and amazing things. Um, and I don't sit here and condone no woman being taken advantage of or being forced to do things that you do not want to do or that you do not, you know, um, take part of or condoning. Right. But at the same time, I also don't condone or support you know, rape is a strong accusation. Yeah, it's slander. When you say when you say rape, when you say rape, because this is the word, and, and not only you, because she may have, have never said rape, right? Right. And these little, you know, the the the, the super loose uh triple X rated porn stars that did the interview with uh No Jumper. Yeah. Um they definitely say, you know, same situation with them. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know if they said rape or not. No, no, they, no, they, she, they, no, they, no, 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 right. no, not but, at all. But you it was gotta exactly understand, what we said. But you got to understand that in this world that we live in and in this culture that we in, soon as, I'm going to say, I'm going to be honest with it, soon as a person of color, for sure, for certain, and it, and it can happen to other people too, but I'm just saying, for sure, for sure, a person of color, they even get an accusation like that. It's going crazy with the media the journalists out there and a lot of these medias and these outlets, you know, I, I hate, I don't want to make it seem like no racial shit, bro, but I just know that we are going first. If you're black and you in some shit where they accusing you of rape, you don't put yourself in a predicament or a situation right. where they can accuse you of some shit like that. They going to go hard on you. They going ham. They try and destroy you from the rip because I haven't seen anything. It's like kind of like where like Garnett was kind of like saying to me, like, that's why he asked, like, yo, have you heard anything that I didn't hear? Because I didn't felt like I seen anything. Even the that's other, going on, even yeah. the other girl that you mentioned, that was another girl that they're bringing up. What's her name? Chelsea? No, no, no. You got talking to Mike Chelsea. <laughs> but what was her name? BB Rexa. Okay, so this is another girl. But what that, she claimed he did was. But but listen to me. What she? What listen? Don't get me wrong. No, it's super inappropriate. But but super. we gotta but we gotta clarify though because what Kiki Palmer was was stating was just more of her experience and how she felt in that moment. We can't take that away for how she felt. No, no, and we, and we, no, hold on, hold on. No, no. And we gotta be mindful of this. We know, like. We know how we can approach another man. Right. Right? And and another man, we've all approached another man and made another man feel intimidated. We right. know what the fuck we doing, right? Exactly. We know. So we also are aware when we're in a situation where a woman would feel vulnerable. That's like honestly our responsibility to motherfucking be you know to 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 be aware that this woman can feel this way. And it does take a certain, I feel like we even know that people pick and choose battles, right? Mm -hmm. right. Like, so you could see some of these niggas be like, oh, this nigga's a little shark. This nigga's a wolf, but he'll do it with the groupie Jones that's around. But then you'll see some niggas like, oh, this nigga don't even got no picks with who he might do it with. Because he doing it with another superstar mm -hmm. or, another, you know, another celebrity. And with the BB Rexa situation, if we just talking about, like I said, Anybody is innocent or anything until proven. Right. Period. So, but with the BB Rexa thing, in what world can you, Porter Rich, or you, Garnett, kiss a woman that you didn't exchange any words with? Well, while that, you're with your girlfriend. That was... Or while you're with another girl. So, right? I'm, I'm going to answer this question. Wrong. There <laughs> is no world outside of fucking Grand Theft Auto. And that's what I was going to say, though, is that a, a nigga been, like, famous and popping and... These things so long, I don't know if it's true. I guess it's all, you know, allegations or whatever. But I can see, even if it's just a small part, I can I can rationalize somebody just feeling like they really live in a fantasy world and think that they can do way more shit because they've been getting getting by doing it. Right. But well, if you, know, you add, 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 so add in a, a, a overdrive sexual appetite on top of that, it, that means that but, this person needs a certain level of stimulation, but, right? But our president is, you know, our president is talking about grabbing pussy, grabbing women by the pussy. Separate and things. subject, so, though. I, I know it's a separate subject, but I'm just saying when you got leaders leading like that, mm. it, it, it it affects, you know, a person who may be, so, can, I'm not, and I'm not making no excuse for him. Trey Song's got a sickness. You got a problem you need to deal with. You got some mental some mental health issues or some power. Right. Some and control. this happened before that man was president. So. Right, right, right. right. But, but, but you get what I'm saying, though? Like, my whole thing is like, that energy is out there. 
that energy is out there where people get famous, people get powerful, and you do got some issues where you think you could do what you want, right? right. Because like, people normally won't say anything. Exactly. Or they won't turn you down. So you could do... I'm pretty sure Trey Songz has done a lot of stuff to a lot of women, not just Trey, any other celebrity, celebrity yeah. man that's in power, that's done stuff that we might never find out about because sometimes the women are like, this man is so powerful, I can't speak out on it or I won't say right. anything. Or was it really inappropriate? Because, you know, I put myself in that situation, right. just so, like my drunk story. Like and, Sometimes you don't want to speak on it because you don't know, but I understand right. Kiki... If someone invited me somewhere and I get there and it's not what they said it is from the mm -hmm. gate, I'm going to feel well, like I'm, I'm some a, type of so way. So I end up seeing another clip of her uh, interview after the Breakfast Club interview. She did an interview with Wendy Williams and basically she was saying like her like main reason of saying no was one like I'm still Kiki Palmer. Like I came here for a party. Now it's a video. It's like, yo. I'm the chick in here that need the budget. Yeah, like, like how smart I'm is he not to gonna ask her? be in yeah. here. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got my hair done. I got nothing to wear. Like this is a music video. Like I understand what you're trying to create, but not me. Like I'm I'm going to say no. And the pressure right. got so overwhelming that yeah, she said she hid in the closet until yeah. she got enough courage but to what get was, up out of it. My whole thing is what was the sexual intimidation and because why why would I go to Google like and again I'm not justifying for nothing like right. Trey Trey songs is wrong if you invited somebody over for a fucking video shoot and it, and you, you and you and, and you yeah. or you pay, yeah for a party and it was really like a video shoot I get it you're wrong but when I go to the headlines and I'm pulling up rape. It's saying Kiki Wyatt accused. Kiki no, Kiki uh, Palmer. Kiki, my bad. Kiki Palmer. Uh, Trey Songz accused of rape by Kiki Palmer. But, shit but, like but, that. but Again, no, but see, that's people writing that caption because exactly. she didn't say that. She did. So right. she's not so responsible. Her so she's not responsible for that. And if people got to realize too that a person, uh, every person, is not like us as a podcaster where we tell all our business. This woman might not be. Uh, might not be comfortable with telling the sexual part of what that yeah, was. Like, that. that's a big deal to people. And the same thing with BB Rexa. BB Rexa, I felt like what BB Rexa said was super um, genuine, right? It was PG, it was genuine. And she even topped it off to say, she said, I'm at a party. She said, and, and, and she named, I'm at my lawyer's party. So obviously these people in, in Hollywood or, you know, right. overlap. I'm at my lawyer's party. Trey Songs is there. He has a date with him. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he's shooting me eyes the whole time, but I don't know. It's kind of weird. Maybe not. Right. Right. I go into this pool room. He's at the door. He pushes me up against his wall, puts his lips on mine. This is what she says. Puts his lips on mine and says, let's do this right here. That's their interaction. Like that's their that first interaction. So so too. so so she says she told him, "No, I don't want to do that or whatever like that." But at the same time, she, she told said, him, "No, we can't do this right now." Yeah, she but, and that is what she yeah, said. She said, and at the same time, she said, "I look at this man," and she said. He looks like one of the most beautiful human beings I've ever seen. She right. said, she, so she's explaining. She's not, she's not in the joint trying to like chop him down or right, nothing. Right. She's in this joint like this dude looks incredible. I think a lot of girls probably go for what he's doing right. with me right now. And I was like, nah, because I know that he does this with a whole bunch of chicks. And that is an out of pocket thing to do with a complete stranger especially like it's really brazen to do it with a person that actually has some status I think that's sexual intimidation it, what port is asking about like what is it that's well, what it is so i looked up the definition of it so basically it's sexual harassment it means threatening or emotionally distressing conduct based on uh, sex, including but not limited to non-consensual, non-consensual recording of sexual activity or the distribution of such recording. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. like getting a girl drunk or high or whatever, and then like you know start touching her mm -hmm. and making her feel a Pressing certain her. way. You right. can Pressing literally her. just press her. But and I just, girl might not want to do it. But that's sexual pressure. Being at a music video, I've seen it. I've been to Joel Santana, Jim Jones. Freaking Jeremiah. I've been in crazy music videos over the years. And, you know, they'd be like, the, the director might say, I need you to wear this or I need you to put this on. You can, If you really want to be in that video, unless you say no, 
Like, you're not going to be, I mean, if you say no, you're probably not going to be in that video. So that's like, oh, you put this on, you're going to be the main girl in the video with Sheik Looch. You're going to be in the main girl. So, like, a lot of this music video, like, saying, like, sexual intimidation isn't just, like, going for full rape or going for full taking, you know, something. It's just, like, putting someone in an uncomfortable situation but where that it makes them be, feel like but they that should, to- But no, but no, no, but if I'm, no. So that, to me, I want to be clear. If I tell you, you have to wear this to be next to me in a video. That's I'm paying you yeah, to do a job. Yeah, but you were told that about that. So if you go yeah. somewhere and you don't know, like Kiki, going and not knowing, yeah, that's, that's sexual intimidation. Because I'm sure there was a bunch of females around, half right. naked, and he was like, "Look, everybody else is doing it. You're not doing it." That's, exactly. that's, that's a big one. That's, that's a big it. one. And we we know that could that's be what, what yeah, that yeah, could yeah. be what they no, refer. And that's, that, what no, that's what I mean. probably what she's yeah, because to. somebody's trying to egg you on to oh, do something that you don't want to do. Whether it's just to be your girl in the video and be like, "Yo, you gonna do this? We gonna have this little." kiss and see it could be anything that's just like my nigga especially when you got the cameras so, on and it's just you and everything in the up. pressure the pressure is everybody's here for this production that i didn't know about right if i brought any of y'all somewhere and was just like it's a music video and it's like i didn't come prepared for that especially if you're kiki palmer and it might have been like bro did you why you ain't holler at my manager or make this some kind of official I'm kiki um, palmer not kylie kardashian like Pick somebody who's going to be in a video that's meant to be in a video that kind of has that. We, when you think of Kiki Palmer, you never... I don't think of video girl. I don't think of... No, she... I don't, yeah, but I don't think, think, think she a, meant like she wasn't ready in regards to like... But that's not even part well, of no, her no, career. It's not. It's not. It's but not like her but her cameos say, are. Cameos are. Yeah. And yeah. I just feel like... In you a know, highlight. Not in a Trey Songz video where girls no, are probably correct, naked. Correct. But I just think for her, it was just more of like... I don't got my hair done. Like, I don't got, I don't think it's just more of like who she was. You she know, that it didn't fit her brand. It didn't okay. fit her brand. So let's, so, so just to give this some, some context, cause I, we are media. So as media, we're just reporting random, you know, shit that comes out. It's up to the, the viewers, the listeners to come up with their own thing. So me being a music business person, I've already heard, stories like this when it comes to this specific Person. artist so artists is going to do what they do like as far as a uh, a nigga having an appetite and fucking and doing what he doing because we was niggas running around doing whatever we was doing trey songs just so happens to be a person that i feel like almost every person knows like if you be a regular nigga and you just know a chick that fuck trey like you know or a couple even in the small, darkest corner towns, like we in Camden, and I'm like, yo, I know two bitches that fucked him from here. I know, like, that I know or seen, like, oh, he he got to him. That's all well and good. A nigga's a sniper. That's what he do. That's what he's in his, uh, you know, he's in his position and what he's getting. But I've heard uh, industry folk stories about him not even being able to concentrate on music sessions because once the music sessions start and the chicks arrive, it's over for these beats. Like, and him trying to move the sessions to his crib. Like, let's wrap this. We going to finish. Let's work on the song back at the crib, everybody. Party at my crib. We out. And niggas would be like, no, nigga, I work with the nigga three nights in a row in the stew. And Every night we don't get through a session. He got to take it back to the crib and it's, it turned into something different because it might just be the appetite that this person like, uh, uh, you know, the difference if a R Kelly is him, he's fucking with underage bitches. That's just like a totally different situation. Like this nigga's fucking with a fucking 17 year old while he's motherfucking, uh, 40 years old or some shit like that. That's illegal. What this man is doing, um, the legal part of it is very gray area. Like, obviously, we know we're not supposed to see a woman and walk up to him and just kiss him right. or, or, or grab a, him I mean, and push him against a wall. It's a sexual assault if she wanted to be. Yeah, It's a yeah. sexual yeah. assault if she wants it to be. My whole thing about that was, and I felt her her, her uh, BB uh, was very genuine as well. I felt like it was very genuine. She and was it, almost a little embarrassed and kind of didn't want to tell the story. Because, and they show, wanted the, the, peop, the, the other people on the show with her wanted her to like go in more. This, like but, this, they, but, this, but this what I'm peeping. This what I'm peeping. Like I'm peeping like it'd be like kind of like bullshit in the mix where people want to make shit big, bigger than what it is. People want to see a motherfucker down. And she really gave it up 
Like, because I almost got from her. Like, that's why I kind of like corrected you on what you said, because what she actually said was she said I was thinking when he pressed up on me like that. And, and you know, she was really like kind of like it was a mixture because mm -hmm. you the, the way you came, he came at me aggressive and wrong inappropriately. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I'm mesmerized by who I'm with mm -hmm. because this man is amazing. Right. Mm -hmm. So my whole thing was she was really like in the, like confused because she possibly would have did it. If That's what she was saying. She was saying, yeah. no, I can't do this right now. Right there, she said it not once, but like three times. She said that that's what she said. Well, she I also can't. said that something else happened, but I won't yeah, say, she it. Couldn't say it. But see, but so, but see, when they say that, and when they say that, it's almost like Kiki Kiki Palmer saying, "Hey, it was sexual intimidation." And don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Again, listen, anybody, any women, any woman who ever been sexually assaulted or been through a sexual abuse situation, man, listen, we don't condone in that shit. We all. we feel, you know our prayers go out to you, and all of that. But in these cases, because we got to look at the flip side of this, that there are cases and situations where like it don't be like a rape situation, and a man will end up going down for like rape or something, some crazy shit yeah. because we didn't clarify and get specific with these things. And all I'm saying is that I just feel like if something sexually happened, mm -hmm. Kiki, and don't get me wrong, I get it. It might take a minute. I get it. Trauma. I get it. It's a lot that goes. Plus, if you, if you say she known the man since she was younger, people like kind of be friend. like she might feel offended. She want to not let a Nick. All right. Porter Rich says something on an episode one day where he was just like, he got to call people on a bullshit or people feel, feel a way if he'll talk about them, but you shouldn't have did something to make me talk about you. Right. But a person might still feel like I'll only go this far with it because I do know you niggas since we was kids. Oh, so, oh, so, so, like. so, so in a sense, I'm going to say this part, but I'm not going to give it all the way to this part because I'm not trying to destroy you, mm -hmm. but I am trying to put you on notice nigga you know what i mean and the same thing with this shorty the the the, the bb rexa chick she seemed like she kind of just didn't want to give up the whole thing she definitely wasn't bashing the dude right. yeah, like at all and i can't judge the people next to her because i know some are like show hosts right. but some look like they was like niggas in her band or yeah, some shit like, like these is her people so it looked like one of her homies was trying to get her to like yo say what happened Cause he was making little jokes like, yeah, then he threw you on down on the bed, right? She's like, no, no, no. He like, he was making little things, but this is her nigga that's saying, yo, tell that story, yo. So I just feel like, you know, don't get me wrong. Um, Trey Songs, God willing, somebody tagged the man, and you get wind of this, but work on yourself, man. Like, because we be, look, we might like you again, that's an issue. You grabbing, mm -hmm. thinking you could just Pop up at a party and push somebody up on a wall and put your lips on them and all that. And don't get me wrong, no matter how much you like <laughs> it. Listen, all Real sex. There's no, there's no listen, probably in it. Listen, Real sexaholic, thing. all of that. But you see what's going on out here. You in hot water right now. I know right now he's somewhere like getting away with it for the past ten years. So right, and God forbid, God forbid you have done worse mm -hmm. to like people who may have felt powerless. Because they wasn't of a stature of nothing crazy and right. probably felt like nobody would believe them, right? right? So, God forbid that this happened. But if it is, man, listen, Trey Song has got to definitely do some self-check and check himself right now. And at the same time, to, to, to just any females out there and any women out there, man, when we when we make statements like this and we're going to talk about something like this, I just feel like we should be specific. Because, you know... Well, if you're going to tell the story, tell all the story. Yeah, but, or clear but it up. On. But what what kind of makes this kind of rough because you have females like the Selena Powell's of the world that kind of fuck it up for people like a, a Kiki Palmer mm. and BB mm. Rexa because they're speaking on situations where they didn't like it, but you have these people that are bragging about it. Right. So it kind of gives a gray area because it's like, okay, you know, were they like a Selena Powell, really? Right. But they're trying but, to maintain their So what people their try image. to what so people try to get from it is the only thing that you can say you can't even say valid, validity. It's just that whether a person liked it, didn't like it, mm -hmm. right? Even out of the two girls, one yep. girl was like, "I like the piss shit," and the she ain't like, like it. Yep. They both agreed that it happened. Yep. So it's like it's like no, nah, no, nah, that's what he into. Whatever the case may be, that's what he into. I ain't like it. She liked it. So and so didn't. Whatever the case, but I don't think. 
you see, he said check himself. I don't think a nigga can check themselves. Right. I think it's important for the people around them, just like in the R. Kelly situation, he had enablers. Somebody you gotta be like, yo, bro, you know, let's chill a little bit, man. Maybe we, we, you know, I gotta bring that up to you, bro. We gotta be able to get some work done. You can't be doing that. I mean, because if a nigga don't learn his lesson about certain, like I'm gonna keep it real. I done dealt with married women before in my life. I did a lot of shit. Let one get bodied by her husband. And I'm done. Like, I, I, for me, that would just be a crazy situation. But there's two, you know, murder-suicide things linked to, to, him. to, 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 to Trey Songs dealing with somebody's wife. Where them women is out of here. They not on earth no more. You feel and I did, And I did see, like, the tweet. Like, he did put out a tweet when one of them got killed. One of them got killed. And that was, his tweet went viral because she just obviously got killed by her husband. And I believe Trey Songs put out a tweet that was just like, you know, just uh, just showing love to her, saying like she was an angel here on earth and now he would like for her to watch over him in the heavens above. And I think people didn't take kind to that because people already felt like you was already attached to this situation where you could have been the cause of this. And Matt, and, and, and let's be real, he can't help what her husband ends does. up doing to yes. her. Like, so, like, because that could have happened fact. to me, it could have happened to anybody. So, there's a lot of angles to this thing here. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to keep in perspective the whole thing and saying, yo, save this man before this could end up. I, we mm -hmm. don't want to see Trey Songs end up being an R. Kell no. situation five years from now. Like, it's, what? it's a lot more. It's, it's literally, like, uh, layers to this situation, too, because he was showing pictures of the text messages this white girl called him a nigga. She said, good night, nigga. And he's like, where you at? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Are, are you letting... Uh, I, yeah, see it. See no, it yeah. Just, I seen the tweet about yeah. that where somebody said something about that. Yeah, it's like that. Uh, I mean, clearly, he just... Uh, he don't care about nothing but the pussy coming to the Somebody crib. said... Somebody said... She came out of nowhere and was like, uh, you... What you want your ass ate? And it's like, hold on, why are these messages were crazy? Yo, these somebody women said, are I literally insane. Laughed. Somebody said you allowing like you know, somebody went crazy on the comments. Said you allowing like a colonizer or something like that to call you a nigga, and then you mad when they lie on you. Hmm. That no, was one of the no, comments. No, no, no. But he could have like, answered back. Um. Yeah. But uh. Yeah. She, I, uh, she calls me a nigga, but I piss in her throat. No, he commented back. You know, he did comment back to the guy, and he said, um, he said, no, I was just trying to get some, 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 some conversation going because I knew it was some. Ske I felt some sketchy shit coming. He was like, but you right about what you're saying. He told the dude he was. I mean, right. he could have also said. I mean. You know, my she thing, called me a nigga. I piss down her throat. Right, like that's a. I think Wally made a great point, and I want to just follow up on what Wally said. You know that um, just shout to the women out there that still got morals. Shout to the women out there that still got morals and still got self respect for themselves. I appreciate because my I girls so much like, after listen. listening to them two women, bro. They were in there trying and to and, drink and the no, piss no, 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 of the interview, dude. No, don't get me wrong. Listen, Adam. let me let me say something. Don't get me wrong, and I don't want to try to like disrespect any women out here or any because it's probably men. It's just as nasty and it's disgusting, right? Right? Like we all like me. I'm a, I'm a freak. I like to get a little freak in my love life, right? With my special someone, right? But um. That interview was disgusting. That interview is, um, and I'm from the bottom. I'm from the bottom of the bottom where people would think like everybody where I'm from is just scum and we're not. That video was scum, like, like bottom of the shoe scum shit. Like, and I ain't even getting into the accusation part because first of all, they never really made an accusation that he raped them. They sucking, you sucking seven niggas off at one time and swallowing niggas. And I still don't condone in you being ever raped or ever being. No, and they, they didn't claim that. It's just no, they clear. But, they but, just but saying they was whores. Like you're, you're, you know, you're already in like these crazy predicaments. And to the ladies that's out there and they catch that, man, you know, because we working on bringing men back to the forefront. I know me and my, my guys that I be around and my dogs and my friends at home and anybody, you know, we talk about being better fathers, better brothers, better, um, better, better sons to our parents. Those of us that still have our parents. Um, so just to my ladies, to my young ladies, that's out there, you know, I work with children and, um, when none of us are perfect, we all love to have a little fun. We all got wild sides to our life at times, but that shit was nasty. 
Like, that shit was nasty. And I guess to each his own, you know, I guess to each his own. Because to me, a person that, that that you think that's cool and that level of disgustingness and nastiness is what's up, I guess to me, I would be corny to those type people. I would be somewhat boring. Well, but you what, gotta... she was stating, mm-hmm. what she was stating, too, that kind of got me upset. And, you know, I don't even want to keep giving them light. But what really pissed me off, and this is why I don't like when women talk about when certain niggas or certain celebrities try to kick it to them. If they try to kick it to you or try to do it, keep that shit to yourself. Who cares? Like, at, at the end of the day, like, I feel like you... It, did you end up going home with him? Did you end up... I, I just... So, but you got to understand... But, I, so, so I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to shoot them some bail. I think that they're they're also on some disgusting shit. Um, but as long as men um, are on the receiving end mm-hmm. of these women, right? It's our fucking fault. Because it's a get your they're both getting something. What niggas is getting is the double suck off from the two chicks. You can't be mad. You you're trading in the idea that she what are they doing it for? They're doing it so they could tell other people about it so that they could move their way up the ladder. And this woman has made herself rich through OnlyFans fucking these niggas. And this is what the trade off is. Right. So if you're Women out there, if, what's your soul worth? And I ain't meaning that on a fucking religious standpoint. Mm-hmm. You trading in your soul to be a true, what they call a cum dumpster. This chick is on here just talking about, I just swallow random niggas. I put myself at at, at the fucking, at, on the floor on my knees for random niggas in certain fucking uh, scenarios or, or niggas that are celebrities. And that's what they going for. And that's the trade-off. But do you think that is the trade-off? Because I feel like just based on the interview and just listening to them, they literally were saying, and this is what I was going to say, if you don't fuck them or if you don't allow them to, like, you know, you putting their dick in their mouth, they're legit calling you gay. They were calling the host like, oh, if you don't fuck her, you're gay. Right. And they're saying, I think that's the most... They was calling all the rappers in the industry gay because niggas done probably probably curved the shit out of them. Correct. So I respect them So the niggas, So the niggas that do take it, Yo, these niggas that's in these positions do not have to fuck with these bitches. Absolute, no, listen, absolutely. That's these a great niggas point. is fucking with the scummiest bitches. They getting them from each other. They the the, the shorty is like it's like yo my, my man I got this John man she be sucking niggas crazy you gotta come through bro and these niggas is coming through like you they can't really get but them six, seven niggas that she was that she got you know she gave head on that fucking basketball team we probably don't even know who the fuck they are listen I was no, no, literally just listen. Like, we probably, that. if she name dropped them we probably don't even know who the fuck they are and that's a and I'm I'm. Good and day. that's Definitely. a fact. That's no literally big, big, what no, made ain't no me. Big player gonna be they in the room the with seven nah. other niggas. Uh, that's not true. That's not true. That that that's not true, true at all. That's not true. So, what, look, so what I will what, say is this. No, what I will say is LeBron this. LeBron wasn't in I there. I do think it's ironic, though. Just as everybody going back through the story, that it's a reason why maybe she didn't say those seven names. Right. Maybe the seven names weren't as big as the Trey Song incident. Exactly. Or maybe that whatever that relationship is, because the one girl said she was fucking with the trainer dude the whole time. Yeah, so, so it's a lot of layers. Y'all think she sucked the starters off with a bench? It could have been a mixture. It, it bench. Been, it could have been starters. Bench. Dev. Listen, you bench. never know. This bitch is she. She. She you said know. all seven came in at the same time. None of the five the niggas star- can only see the floor. Three of those niggas got wives. So, so that means maybe starters, two starters. What's up? What's wives got to do with it? No, I'm just saying, like, they be around and, like, it's, it's always niggas on the team. Man, that, like, they, niggas be have niggas been but running they, trains. But, they, but, but you got to understand, those niggas, though, like, they're going to, you got, in, in the league, when it comes to NBA players, the ones that are, like, the main niggas, they hang with each other. They ain't hanging with them bench niggas, and that's a fact. Yeah, yeah, but so it they're not gonna be in that same room. The rookies room. don't get to hang they out. They don't get with to hang. So like, if the rookies in there, they gonna be like, "Yo, I'm not gonna condone myself because I don't know what you know." what I'm saying like, yeah, Malik is definitely not hanging with Derwin Davis. And 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 and, 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 <laughs> and just to, just Shout before, out to the game. before we leave this topic, <laughs> the other girl, uh, Selena, whatever, she just came off like the puppet master. And the other girl was like her little puppet. Right, she kept and feeding I hate, her. And I hate when I see like ladies and fellas. This is for both genders. Like, 
Don't allow yourself to be no guinea pig, man. She was like, not for it. your dog, say not it. Nah, but what your she was, dog would never do that to you. Yeah, but what she was doing was like throw it. No, out no, here no, no, no. What she was doing job. was in this lit. case, this bitch was already in the game. Mm -hmm. She was trying to tell her friend, "You in the game, and you not getting the money I'm getting. Get you lit. suck the seven right. dicks. Me and you sucking dicks together, and I'm trying to get you to get the bag that I'm getting because I'm rich, you not. And I'm telling you, if you talk here." This is how you could get with me, cause in the meantime, you just you just my buddy sucking dicks with me, and when you ain't getting none of this paper. She was trying to show Being her the 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 the, the, in, the other half of it. Where in she's, her eyes, right? In her Cause, eyes, cause, that was what she was doing. Yeah, cause she's basically looking at it like she's looking at it like what she said. My mom's bills is all paid. Yeah, I got the crib. I I, I cop this Mercedes. <laughs> I did this. I did this all because I'm a professional whore. Right. Yo, you making fun of his allergies? That's <laughs> fucked up. So you know, I'm over here about to fucking die. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Puerto Rich is struggling uh, today, but um, but nah, it's 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 a super wild situation. I feel as though people in general should just should just stay away from these um, uh, soulless women. They really feel like they do not have a soul. That their main thing is attention in any form that they had to get it. Like I believe women like this will kill you. For money. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like Later women that come up to the room and rob you. Yes. You know, and the they, one act like, oh, I'm outside. I got the address. I'm going to send it to you. Bring the niggas. Oh, yeah. Get them. you, get you, that kill all of that. Yes. And I will say this. Listen, if a nigga don't want you around with his phone, you can leave. Like, that's like, don't. Because I, I know there was part of, part of the interview or whatever where someone was saying, uh girl was saying she was in the back of the truck or something like that. And. She watched a girl get kicked out because she pulling out a phone. Like a lot of them niggas don't like having phones around. Right. Yeah, so y'all got to take that. I mean, y'all seen Jay it, do that the uh, the guy at the um, party. You don't even have to be doing crazy shit. Yeah. It's just yeah. niggas do like somewhat privacy, but that is an excuse for a nigga to do some wild, wild shit. shit. Right. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, uh, some wild shit, wild shit that we saw. This world is upside down. Um, this is the age of entertainment. Always go back to uh, the Garnett knife story at the barbecue. Um, we live in the celebrity ran world. That's the reason why these women are acting the way they're acting is because we really live in a celebrity is king time period. When the fuck did celebrities be able to really have the one on one um, sit downs with presidential candidates, especially celebrities? The likes of Cardi B. Well, I mean, celeb presidents and celebrities. I mean, I don't get me they wrong. They made it's, her it's, the voice of normal people. I get it. I get it. <laughs> but people. I get it. But I'm not surprised. And the reason I'm not surprised is because it's been happening. It's been happening on a on a on a small scale. And now that we in the future in 2020, I just feel like we're here now. We're here. We're like, I don't know. You remember movies? What was that movie called when everybody, when it was like super, futur super futuristic and everybody. Demolition Man? Uh, Demolition Man is one of them, but I, I, I think. Canyon it Finish was like the cold. It. it was Chris, Chris, Chris Tucker in it. Chris, uh, it's the Chris Fifth Element. The Fifth Element. Exactly. I'm talking about the Fifth oh. Element. And, and when you think about the Fifth Element, right, these people were the people who was like running the world now. This was like everybody. Everybody in the world was like this, like, right? Uh, a lot of looked at like what could be what I look at now is like what I see people now when they're getting all this plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. A lot of people getting done up. You're seeing, uh, you're seeing very um, different, colorful and crazy and wild hairstyles and, you know, all just a kinds of sh all mm -hmm. kinds of shit. But I just feel like Ronald Reagan was an actor. You know what I'm saying? Um, and like today, just fast forward now, Donald Trump was off of a TV show. Donald Trump is a, a a celebrity that they voted in office. Right, different, but right, different. This is different but, than the Ronald Reagan thing. Listen, but continue. Different but similar. And Cardi B, of course, everybody gonna go crazy about Cardi B because she just was like, of course, when you talking about professionalism, being articulate, yeah, things of this nature. Do you think that Cardi B is the average person? Absolutely not. 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 No, okay, okay. No, okay. Not. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Cardi, before, no, listen. Not Cardi anymore, B. But still now she relates to a place of 
normalcy for Listen. people like me and you. So when she gets in and does that interview, people be like, oh, Cardi's talking to him. It's not a presidential candidate talking to a presidential candidate or someone. It's like everybody looks at Cardi like she's the down to earth person. Yeah, but do you think most people even at the bottom are like Cardi B? No, they're not like her, but we look at her like she's no, like kids. The, we when you but, say we, I want to understand. I'm talking about the black community. The black community, the Spanish community. Look at Cardi B as what? No, they don't look at her as normal. But when she's in here doing these interviews, they look at her. Th- thinking she's relatable. That, they can relate. They can. Relate. Relate. They can. She they came can. from where they can we relate. Came you from. can relate. They as can for, relate in regards to how she's talking. How she's what talking. What she's talking about. I think, about. I think, I think the most that they relate to her to, I think the most that they relate to her to is that and she did. has she has no she has no hair on her tongue to a certain extent. She has her rawness. She has nothing to hide about her whole life. That's what made her career pop off. Right. That she was on willing to go on Instagram with her fucked up teeth when her teeth was fucked up. She didn't yeah. care about so, any of that. So I could see her being relatable in the fact that I could say, I know a person kind of like that. But that person is still the rare. That's not the person that you speak to. To have a conversation about this community, yeah, I was, it is I was not. Just about to say but, that. but listen, I get, I I get it's a listen. fucking joke, bro. I, I get what you're say saying, but are you surprised? Look what we got in office as a president. You think that's not a joke? No, I knew that from no, the no. beginning. Dude, so, no. so my whole thing is like, how are we surprised? Why are we surprised that Cardi B is having a ca- uh, uh, a presidential interview with a presidential uh, candidate, Joe Biden, who they already saying is uh, got sexual abuse, all kinds of shit on his jacket, same mm-hmm. as Trump, mm-hmm. when we got a motherfucking office who... It's just a whole fucking like really like a reality yeah, show, like I, a whole it's, sitcom. I don't think it's not a surprise. It's not a, a surprise. It's more surprising for me to see that people think it's somewhat acceptable. No, it's not acceptable. It's not. But the people who are putting it together are like, yo, this will be a great idea because we have someone who still talks like they're from the hood, who came from the hood, who has, you know, whatever situation they can relate to and they can ask them um, Biden, those questions in a way that someone from the hood would ask. It's that like that, yeah, yeah, it, it, but, but, but the yeah. way that someone from the hood, if you're saying it like, if you're saying the way someone from the hood, they mean someone from the hood that has no knowledge in their head, not just a person from a hood, yeah. a person from the hood that's ignorant. Meaning they, and when I say the word ignorant, I mean they don't know. So the questions they're going to ask is going to be super basic. Like you know, I don't got nobody to watch my kids. That's different. You feel what I'm saying? No, and, I get it. I you know get how many people watched saying? it and was like, "Yo, Cardi B talking that shit." Yeah, but like, but but that's not getting. But that's not that conversation's not going to get. It's almost impossible for that conversation to get to a result. Yeah. If you want to talk to somebody, talk to somebody at least. And I'm not saying it got to be this, but talk to Hove. Talk to a nigga that's articulate. Talk to a nigga that know how to build something for real. Talk to him. No, uh, to have. I just thought it was so funny. I I, I thought Dev brought up a good point too that. I think it's she shouldn't be the uh, the face of uh, the black community in order for us to like want to vote for him because that's basically what this is. It's part of his campaign. Like mm-hmm. that, this is part of getting the black vote. And it's like you wouldn't got Cardi B. I, I understand that she just dropped the video. She's on the cover of the uh, the L magazine, who produced the content that we we end up watching. So I mean, I, I understand kind of where he's going with that, but the part that they completely fail with the content is my like they couldn't even understand each other. He was literally sitting there as she was talking like, yo, like you can hit, see his eyes. Everything is in his eye. He had no clue correct because there's a fucking language about. barrier because the person between can't articulate them. themselves. No, 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 no. It was actually between both. You think she really know what the fuck he was talking but, about? But, but the difference is, chest? but the difference is he's speaking in real ink. Like yeah, he's yeah, yeah, speaking yeah. the way he's supposed to. That's the difference. It's like it's it's like sending a motherfucker that don't this speak English to so this motherfucker. This was the thing that it kind of reminded me of is how the news reporters go and find that one person. Yup. Right. Yup. Right. And this is and that's what I'm talking about. And this is the thing. We all come from that. We all got family like that. I fuck with Cardi B all day because Cardi B is like your motherfucking cousin, your aunt, your, mm. you know what I mean? Whatever the case may be. But I'ma still say, oh, even my aunt, nigga, 
my whatever is not the person for you to be talking to, bro. Right. Uh, it's people in my family that I love to death that I'd be like, bro, talking to him is not the <clears throat> person you're supposed to talk to. You, there are better can and that's when you know that people not taking the shit serious when they not sitting down with a person that's somebody you supposed talk to Talib Kweli. No, if you want to talk, we, but look, we spoke about this before about people not being the people. Who should be speaking? Remember, we spoke about people not speaking for that reason, and we 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 mentioned that that they and real quick they he probably, might have spoke to Talib one, at one time, possibly. But continue. But you you know we mentioned people who like not speaking, and they not speaking for a reason because they know that's not they feel. Mm -hmm. They know they're not articulate enough to speak. Right. So I feel you. I agree with you on that point. But Cardi the people, B, but the people, but people on the news don't know. Right, they so don't. That's but that's why to play devil's advocate, though, mm -hmm. if you are going to set up something like this, which they did, right? Elle Magazine was like, you know what? We have her on the cover. This is going to be views. This is going to be, they look at it as dollar signs because it's Cardi B, right? It's Talking to Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. Hello, right? What I think if you're going to use her and if you're going to use somebody like that, at least, number one, ask the right questions, number one, and help her have prepare her to have that conversation properly. Yeah, because let's clear this up. Because it kind of got it. Because like I was, I remember DMing Garnett and just laughing because I honestly I thought it was funny, but at the end of the day, it's a serious matter. This is a serious not, conversation. This is what's going on. Not only is it a serious matter, but we should also, because I get it and I feel how you feel, Dev Cardi B. I love Cardi B. Right? I think Cardi B is no, an amazing. I think She's Cardi awesome. B is an amazing entertainer. But when it comes to uh, politics and uh, speaking on, you know, our worldly issues and things of that nature, I think we should definitely have the professional people that this country over years, except for like some of the situations we mentioned earlier, different situations where a person get in office who's really not from yeah. that cloth. But I think we should have the professionals in there. But at the same token, I do want to commend Cardi B for at least having the courage yes. and the, because this yeah. is why a lot of, I, that listen, was the point this that why I was a lot of, make. this is why a lot of people this is why Chelsea feel how she feel and this is why a lot of people do fuck with Cardi B because it's a lot of shit that's going on where celebrities ain't saying shit and Cardi B is one of the most boisterous celebrities on all that shit and yeah she say it in a fucked up crazy way yeah. she say it in the most ghetto fire way this ain't a this ain't a, this is clear this ain't an attack on cardi b no, this is an attack on the, no, the first, people fucking playing with us bro they playing games this is a fucking game they playing a the game they saying this this is what i want y'all to be clear and this ain't nobody on the show saying it except dev they're saying pander to these niggers pander to the niggers guess what go talk to their favorite rapper Go talk to that woman, that mm -hmm. that 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 uh that Cardi B girl, the one that'll fight and um be as a stripper turned rapper with the wet ass pussy song. Go talk to her, and the niggers is gonna eat it up. That's what they saying. No, they playing and, games with niggas, man. And 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 that's why I was saying like I, I think the interview for what it is is like for, for whatever their campaign is. That shit was perfect for them. They didn't want too many questions. She asked a perfect question so he can give those standard answers. Because if you watch the video, it's chopped up like a motherfucker. I'm pretty sure that whole video in its entirety is trash. Sit down and talk with a nigga that's going to challenge your ideas mm -hmm. and well, hold you accountable. Like, no, 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 I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna make you say some shit right here, bro. Yeah, that's, you're not going to just outsmart me and talk around me. And that's that was why I feel like they needed to prepare for. her, though. Well, that's what I'm saying. But, but, I mean, you that's can't. Why you can't. Exactly, that's why they did. But you can't. But that's what I'm saying. You can't prepare a person. You could make her ask a, a question, question right. but she can't. Uh, bounce the, the tennis ball back and forth with you right. because that knowledge has to really be there right. like it has to Listen, be there God willing this is just the end of the circus show man for the last nah. four years like we've been watching the whole fucking Bro. circus man nah. Listen. like let's be honest man no, again no disrespect to Cardi B Cardi B we love you you know what I'm saying? I just feel like, you know, and don't get me wrong, we, we we salute your efforts in whatever you speak up on and try to fight for the communities and all that shit. We right, she's just trying to do her all, part. Right, and all celebrities that do it. But our country is being laughed at right now. We are, we have turned into the laughing stock for other countries. We have turned into the shit show. I think it's an easy thing too, man. Like, like I said, I watched it, and if y'all was trying to get my vote off that, y'all failed miserably. Like, no, you have X. a person, like I said, they were speaking different languages to each other. 
And then you got the, the you know, uh, Biden, like he he's basically just saying the simple answers of, OK, what is black Twitter complaining about? Well, I'm going to just say whatever black Twitter is complaining about. Like, that's how I'm going to run my campaign. Mm-hmm. This oh, shit going backfire. He a horrible. I'm, he a horrible. I'm, I'm think telling you, no, that's the thing. I, I I think it's working in conjunction with what's going on. It's like that's that wasn't meant to earn our vote at all. This it, this it, shit it, is it's going almost to, leaving people to be like, well, yeah, I'm gonna probably just go vote for the yo, other. No, nigga. no, I'm telling you, niggas is going to vote for Trump that never thought they was going to vote for Trump. And then other niggas is going to just not vote at all mm-hmm. because because bro. the shit is starting. Up. They going they going to just be like, you know what? I'll just repeat the same four years. I'm already going through it. I'm going to just go through the four years yep. because these niggas look like they fucking playing games. My other choices is fucking Kanye West or a nigga that's on here saying that uh you ain't black if you don't, you know what yep. I'm saying? Vote for me. Like, this shit, I, I, yo, it's gotten so bad. You know, it's weird that you would get to the point where you miss a person being, quote, presidential. And presidential, I always looked at as bullshit. Like this person that's a politics. But person. they did a great job at bullshitting us. Right, right. So so this person just said, I'm gonna conduct myself with a certain manner gotcha. in front of people. I got manners that niggas would sell dope, shoot niggas, and do all types of shit, and then still come, you know what I'm saying, to your crib and and, and, and fucking impress your mom. Right. Niggas walk in there, how you doing, Miss Robinson? No, no, no. My mom think he's the sweetest nigga in the world. Nigga at least knew how to do that. These niggas, now it's just like blatantly pandering, blatantly, everything's blatant as fuck, bro. And it's almost insulting it when is. you start looking but at the shit. But we look at it like that, but I don't think the average person, uh, average is, average is, they, average is, is, average is, is, is a, is a, is a not the word. word. That's well, the big average word that person I'm now, the average person now Ain't what the average person was once ten years ago. No. I still think the average Times person now thinks it's a joke. I think if you no, take, I don't want to use average. I don't want to use Cardi B and is like she's speaking for our community. She's speaking for us. Or like I said, but do before. you think the people that are looking at Cardi B are our generation or people younger than her that are you know? I think that can, can be both. both. I but that, so do you think that educated. can affect that community? Listen. Because they're like, oh my gosh, she's she's with Joe Biden. She approves of him and, you know, his presidency. We should go vote for him. So imagine those kids that can vote at this time mm. and all start voting for... Some people, listen, some people, I'm, I'm j- just to throw this out there, you know, uh, contrary to what Dad was saying, like some people really don't... Some people think Trump and them... Done, then Some people live, feel as though these last couple of years was really like the worst years of their life. And... Perfect. Some people don't give a fuck about the interview. Some people don't give a fuck about who the opponent is. Some people just like, man, I vote for fucking anybody. Trump Car- is out of here. Cardi here. <laughs> didn't give a fuck who the opponent. She didn't. She literally told him, "Yo, listen, I really don't care. I just want this nigga out of office." And that's how like, a that's lot it. of people feel, yeah, and that, which is it, scary. Yeah, because no, no, we can it can back it can this backfire. This is how shit backfires when people openly say. I don't even really understand your politics. I just want him out. That's a real backfire. I believe that could bring out more Trump voters. I believe that. I think that's a dangerous game. It's this whole thing is dangerous as fuck. When you really looking and you really sitting there like, would I really want this nigga to be the president? But the thing is, because people start people start looking like now. People already know what they got right now. Right. They got evil. They got racism. Mm-hmm. They got uh, uh, a, a dude that just fucking says anything about other country. Just disrespectful. A, a, a clown in office. But they know what they got. Mm-hmm. Some people going to be like, man, I don't even know what I'm going to get. Some people, there's niggas probably right now that's like, man, Trump gave me that stimulus, man. Mm-hmm. No, that's, I'm going to that, get, I'm going to, I'm listen, I'm going to just stick with this nigga. No, that's nigga. big. No, you don't understand. That's big. And, 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 but that, not, not only is that big, I feel that big. That's, it's my opinion. Mm-hmm. I feel that's big, right? And I feel that that's so dangerous. I feel that we, we, we really got to uh, learn and understand as people. And don't get me wrong, because I hear what you're saying about the other shit, and I don't, I'm not, in tune with the Democrats, and I'm not fully condoning no Democrat shit because I know this all a whole. But this big is your opinion. Politics, right? But I'm just saying, as far as like, tr- like as far as Trump go, like I don't know, man. He like he is blank. He is blatant with everything he say and he do. But like, if we, I don't know if we can survive listen, another no, four no, listen, years I, 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 of that. 
And I'll I'll say this to just to piggyback off of what Rich was saying too. Like, as far as the presidents go, as far as Trump, as far as you know, uh, Biden trying to get in there. If there's one thing I will say about Trump, is that that motherfucker is charismatic. You can't take your eyes off him, whether it's good or a bad reason. Mm-hmm. This this content that you saw, I wanted to turn that off immediately. Like he he has no. It's no. Why am I voting for you for what? Uh, my brother he has said. My brother to said. Tell. My brother he has said. Stories to well, tell. No, no, they said he got like a. I don't know if they said he got a disease or they. My brother said he sound like he has like something when he talked like the dementia. So they said he can't really talk. He older, and I mean, what we still holding on to is still the fact that you know he was vice president with Barack. Correct. Mm-hmm. I don't like, know if charismatic is the right word for that nigga. But for what? For, Are you talking about Trump or you Trump. were talking about Joe Biden? I'm talking about both of them. I don't think what's the name is charismatic at all. I don't think Joe Biden is charismatic oh, at no, all. Oh no, 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 he's not. At charismatic all. is like motherfucking Obama, making people hate you. I don't even think can even no, form into charismatic. You but, might say a person got but, character, but I don't think that's well, what the as, word as means. As it's like charming. I mean, he is charming. Maybe not to you. What what I'm saying is is something. Or okay, so the word may be. Um, what do you call that? Polarizing um, or some shit. It's, Does he? You feel like he has empathy? Captivating. No, no, no. Captivating. It's captivating. it's it's just you. No matter what Somewhat side you on. Yes. What, no matter what side you on, you you fuck around and watch a Trump debate, whether you hate it or not. Nah, you will. You're going to be yeah. able to you watch will. something. You will. Yeah. It's going to be uh, uh, something. For some reason, I thought you was talking about Joe Biden nah, for a second, him. but you're talking Hold about Donald Trump. You know Trump. what it's like. It's you know what it's like. It's like Memphis Bleak, right? What it's like the same. No, 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 no. I know. No, no. This. All right. I always liked rappers that was either extremely good at rapping or extremely trash at rapping. Nobody in the middle. Memphis Bleak was in the middle. I felt nothing when I listened to his music. Make you feel no but when I listened to a nigga that had that, like that, whatever, like a goofy bop, a mumble rapper, it'd be like, yo, this nigga, he, he dope. Or Jay-Z, I think he's lukewarm. If that's what they say in the Bible, it's like, yeah. he's just, he's Brand. just, yeah. right, he's lukewarm. You don't feel one way about him, but you, but what happens if you feel no way about a nigga, and then he says something like, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. That just turns your knob to, to, oh. to, that's the problem. I think it's just, I think it's just his character. I think he's just like a nut. He know he a nut. He a powerful nut. And I think he know that people like find him somewhat entertaining, right? You're talking about Trump, Trump. now. I'm talking, okay. yeah, yeah, we're yeah, talking yeah. about Trump. Yeah. I'm, talk, I'm talking about Trump. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, because Garnett was saying, like, just how you can actually, like, watch this guy. And I get it. I think people, like, really like being entertained. It's not like people watching, like, you know, like, oh, this man is a prestigious, immaculate, you know, uh, decent person. But no, no, the, his audience thinks that. The problem is they didn't well, yeah. find a candidate for us, right? There the is candidate, no the candidate, on the other candidate side. that they gave us, they didn't give us a person that we look at like that. His, like literally, if on a on an entertainment scale, it would have been. We talked about this before. It's like if they would have gave us Will Smith, even right, 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 even that a, a niggas would be way more hype. People, I mean, right. people I would think, be like, "Yo, this dude can hold a conversation." I mm-hmm. think we, but I think we know that Trump, like, and his followers are like the same exact way. I think we know that, like, um. Trump, you ever see like some of his followers when they come out to the rallies and they be trying to like snap like the racist people, mm-hmm. the racist people like, and this is no disrespect. I'm not I, we, saying, I'm but not we saying can't that, make a statement that that all Trump follow uh, all Trump followers are racist. Right. Right. Well, well, you talking, talking about the racist? I'm talking about the racist. I'm talking about the racist. Okay, okay, the, okay. the full blown ones that come out racist. Mm-hmm. Got it. And this is no disrespect, but I'm being honest. This mm-hmm. is my opinion. They sound stupid. They sound like they really like be low in education. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, they're not well educated. You right. get what I'm saying? They're like, um, I don't want to say uh, like the less, the, like the least, like of white people or the bottom of you know what I mean. But because you want to say a lot what of they, white people, what white call, people uh, call poor white trash. Continue. Right. I mean, think about it. If you took Trump out of his suit and put him in a jumper. Yo, this is real. No real shit. No jumper. Take Trump out of his suit. <laughs> Put him in a fucking hillbilly jumper, take a hay straw, uh-huh. let him chew on that. Uh-huh. His neck already red, the face is orange. You get exactly what you see fighting for him. And this is the reason why I have a problem with that, because this is what they did when they went to Cardi B. Trump said, I'm going to talk to the ignorant white people. 
and then they said what? We're going to talk to the ignorant black that's people. That's it. And I'm not saying. That's, a, that's, the prob- that's the problem. That's the problem. Nah, you're right. They, they did. Okay, let's do what he do. We got to get them. Let's chuck and but jive you know what's fucked and up get about that? them. You know what's fucked up about that? Because now y'all making, and granted, we love Cardi B. But it just kind of show, and like you said, it will backfire eventually. Mm-hmm. Because now it's kind of diminishing her light and who she is. So now you're basically like, okay, y'all use me because y'all trying to say that I'm not smart. And yeah, I'm not they could just to just to use the just, just so we get off Cardi B. Let's use anybody in that realm. Yep. Let's just say they was getting NBA Young Boy. Let's say they was getting name any young rapper. Name any young rapper that's not a uh, that's not a uh, fucking uh, Sean Smith. Little baby. Sean Smith is going to be articulate in mm-hmm. that conversation. You feel what I'm saying? But if the, yo little baby will be way more articulate nah, in that conversation. That's, that's, a that's a sharp name. He's you, know, you feel what I'm saying? Like you. But do we know that though? I just think I. I for, you yes. think so? Yes. I think I think it kind of like I mean I can't help and I gotta say it because I just again don't get me wrong I definitely think it was some hidden agendas and some you know people with definitely like with bad energy and 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 corny motives trying to do shit. It's but media. at the same time, I just felt like Cardi. And what she stands for and who she is genuinely kind of like made her also, you know, even though it's crazy. But again, look at the world and the current times that we in and who our current leaders are like it, she made herself also a candidate for that because she been doing it. She been doing it. She been attacking certain shit, speaking, coming out. But, you know, but she doing it on her page in her way. So it's right. no violation. Right. But when you present it to the world and say, yo, this is a prestigious interview we're about to get ready for elections right. and we're doing it with such and such i get it it's not no we want professionals we want yeah, the professionals because, to hold do on, so they, i'm gonna tell you so 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 when you when you we about to we about to be out of here um y'all this is more of a serious episode but when you dress the person up like it's not even like it was like well fuck it if i'm just keeping it real and talking to the real i'm gonna talk to cardi b as she would be dressed and her true self so what they do is they put in cardi b and, and almost a like a fucking a come color. on yes. man with a red wig come on man i get it like that's the part that start making it look like 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 the things don't line up mm-hmm. that's what i said at first i said it's, it's and, I like get it. and i get it and i and i know but really. but at the same time I get it how people probably took it and was like, no, they want the raw. Give them the raw. We going raw because everything's mm-hmm. so raw now. Right. They want the raw. They want the raw truth. They don't want it professionalized. Nah, man. Everything should stay But how can you pick what you professional. want professionalized and, you know, so her outfit got to be professionalized, but what she's delivering doesn't have to be right. professionalized. Right. She's wearing a costume. Mm-hmm. I just it's, it's like, like a nigga. It's like it's like when you watch motherfucking uh General Hospital or something like that, and they dress niggas up like gangbangers. But when they talk, you like, man, this nigga is he never even been in the hood. Not right. only he that, can't even act like and, a nigga from the hood. He talk proper. He a fucking blood in the in the joint. Right. But we could see that these people don't have the right people cast it. So it's like, okay, we're gonna take you, put right. this suit on you, and have you speak on behalf of these people. And the thing is, she doing what she can and speaking up um so like you said she just doing what she doing i think it's some fuck shit that that's who they decide they want to uh talk to because one they're not going to be challenged in that conversation and we we got to look at what the 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 last campaign as well like as far as how the democrats ran and i don't see why they still using the same plays out the old playbook it's like hillary she had hot sauce in her bag for us see <laughs> you get See, what but saying? what he'll do like, is he don't get hot sauce in his bag. He like, yo, I'm gonna go get the black lady. I'm gonna go get the black woman. You know what I'm saying? This gonna be my running mate. This look like this is my my thing. I, I agree with you though, because even like even when you think about it, like you you know you make good points. Like you could have went and got a lot of people, man. You know this is an election. We talking about voting. We talking about problems in our schools. We're talking about uh problems in our in our in our police with our police and in our communities. And you could, you know, not and again, we love Cardi B. We love Cardi B speaking up when she speaks up from her platforms and things of that nature. But, you know, and and I feel how you feel. She just, she definitely just put out a big record called WAP and we love WAP. We love, you know, the wet stuff, you know what I'm saying? And in that field when we thinking about that kind of stuff. No, I'm just saying like yeah. cuz entertainment is entertainment and we love the Kermit, raunchy shit at, at the same time sometimes. I know what the W stand for. <laughs> Waleska. <Right. laughs> Wally Wop. 
Listen, <laughs> but um, nah, like um, yeah, I get it though, Devin. I agree with you. I agree that um, um, we should have the professionals handle yeah. um the, the what they ex what they ex what, what they expertise is yeah. you know so, and where they experts at. So so I'm I'm gonna just end it like this. This is my thoughts. I hope that what I would wish to happen because this is a lesser of two evil situation. I I hope that Joe Biden ends up in the, you know in the office. Um, not because I think that he'll be a great president, just because I think that he'll it'll be something better than the latter. And I think it might be something to say, you know, just to take a stand on being able to do fuck shit and then be the president for eight years is kind of, you know, uh, out of kind of a little bit too out of hand. But uh, go ahead, Gardner. No, I was going to say I didn't even like put these two parallels together, but it's like they wouldn't got themselves a very huge artist too. They wouldn't got Cardi B and this nigga got Kanye basically front running for yeah. him. So yeah, yeah no, yeah, they, they, all that shit is just is 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 goofy. A whole show is 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 mm-hmm. so is so so goofy. And you what I hope hip-hop. and what I hope is if if this man Biden is in office, that the energy stays the same. When a when a when a when a black man is killed unjustly. It's caught on camera and all that. Say the same shit you said in that interview. Go right up to that podium and say, that man was murdered in cold blood. Because you could say it now while you're trying to get the vote of the people. But what's going to be the difference mm-hmm. when you in office and it's happening? Because we know it's going to happen because it's already that, that, that been in motion forever. Now, if that person gets in office and all of a sudden they ain't at the podium saying that shit. Like they was in the Cardi B interview because they telling Cardi B what they want to hear. Right. You know what I mean? That man was killed. I want to see a president walk right up to that podium and say, "Uh uh-uh. Nah, bro. They killed that man. We got to get them up out of there. Start pulling whatever motherfucking power they got. Absolutely. But I doubt it. We got a lot of work to do, man. Sadly, I doubt it. Um, This has been another episode of the Devin Wade Show. Um, For myself, for Garnett Briscoe, for Waleska D, for Porter Rich. And, um, you know, it's kind of a downer, you know, some of these situations. But to bring it back up, uh, we need a strong one. For you need a strong one? I need a strong one. Ooh. I've been lifting weights, girl. I'm not talking about you. Oh, uh, I'm just... <laughs> I just thought you was looking you, for me. I think you fucked up the nigga's moment that was about... Yeah, you know I mean? It's okay. That's Garnett's mm. fault. <laughs> this is the Devin Way Show. Peace. Twisted genius, baby. Ooh, Tino on the train. Look like Holly with you. My little baby. My little baby. She too crazy. She too crazy. Work the magic for the body. Make sure y'all go. And help out New Souls Inc, man. Make sure y'all go to that New Souls Inc. N C L O Cash app and help these kids learn during the pandemic. Work the magic for the body. She amazing. They don't face me. They don't face me. She pop the tag and get a bag and keep it skating. Girl, you look like Holly Berry with your fine ass. What you sipping? That Moscato in your wine glass.